Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am um, hopping on today to record this reading. This is going to be a past, present, future reading with whatever situation you're currently going through in your present moment. Um, you can reflect on situations from the past. You can reflect on the present and then reflect on the future. And so there will be three different groups. I will be reading past, present, future for each group. So um, please feel free to pick a pile. The first group is Amethyst. Infinite possibilities are available to me. Protection, purification, spirituality. The chakras are the crown and third eye chakra. And the zodiac sign would be Virgo, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius. You don't necessarily have to have those as your sun sign, but if this card calls to you, um, then pick pile one. <clears throat> pile two is sodalite. I am guided by logic and intuition. Intuition focuses energy and guidance. The chakras would be the throat and third eye, and the zodiac would be Sagittarius. Again, you don't necessarily have to be a Sagittarius, but if this particular card, for whatever reason, it calls to you, then pick pile two. And pile three is Bronzite. I send out loving, thoughtful energy, and I receive the same in return. Protective, grounding, harmony, courage. All of the chakras, the whole chakra system, so um, depending on which uh if you just follow the seven, which would be the root chakra, which is the tailbone all the way up to the crown, which is the top of your head. So it's like your spinal column and your brain. Um, or the higher chakras would be like up above your head, the higher realms, your higher levels of consciousness as well. And I believe those go up to 12. Um, okay. Zodiac sign Leo. Um, again, you don't have to be a Leo um, sun sign but if this particular card calls to you then pick pile three and um, you know take everything as it resonates don't force anything to fit into your life if you chose group one this is your reading we're going to be using the Orion's tarot the Orion's animal tarot and the Creative Consciousness Healing uh, Oracle Deck. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Um, a situation for Pile One's past. Okay, you guys got Knight of Wands reversed right off the bat. Okay, present moment for Pile One. Tarot cards to reflect the present moment fell right on the pile, right on the Knight of Wands, and it's the Three of Pentacles. Job situation, working together, um, building something, building a team. I'm getting okay. Future. In, I'm okay. I'm hearing the way to ask for this would be in this paradigm. So whatever situation or mindset you're currently programmed to or currently like moving towards so future destinations are up to you based on your free will choices but based on what your current mindset is this is what your most likely future outcome will be unless of course you change that mindset if that outcome doesn't suit you okay <laughs> that was a lot but let's see future most likely okay crossed is the sun so and the bottom of the deck nine of swords something that you have been um really worried about for a long time oof there's a centipede i cannot stand centipedes okay let's see dolphin all right, <clears throat> please clarify the past for pile one. Please clarify the past. Okay, water. 
Experiencing the healing power of water. Okay. All right. Um, please clarify the present for pile one. <clears throat> present for pile one. For their highest and greatest good, please. Let's see. Okay. Self-soothing, creativity, oh, excuse me, creating safety and calm. Okay. And future outcome for pile one. For their highest and greatest good, please. That one almost came out. Soft breeze, allowing flow and ease. Let's see if that comes out again. Okay. Future for pile one, please. Future for pile one. Yes, I'm one of those readers. I like for it to fly out. <laughs> uh, in no uncertain terms. <laughs> Wild energy. Focusing your creative Power. Okay, and the bottom of the deck you got moon belly healing your gut. All right, so what I'm getting here is that all right, so I'm hearing some of you were influenced by another that this may be going deep for some of you guys okay so some of you may have been influenced by another representation of something that you had really wanted in your life so whatever that could be for you it could be a, re a relationship it could be with it being the wands it could be a creative project or it could also be a spiritual insight or like a spiritual path um, but almost one that would be like with the knight of wands reversed it would almost be like it turned out to be kind of shady like you know people who really get into Bikram's yoga and then find out that the person who created it is kind of gross and creepy you know, and or like that sort of almost almost on the verge of a cult, like things becoming cultish if it's a spiritual situation. Um, it could also be, um, again, like a creative project working on um, works of art together with other people. Um, and it's interesting because wands represents fire, but this is a dolphin, which is a water sign. And you also got or, you know, water energy. It, you know, they're in the ocean and all that. but you, And you got water. <clears throat> Experiencing the healing power of water. So whatever this was in the past for you, it felt very healing. It felt very soothing. Um, it felt very emotionally. Like, if at the time, it felt emotionally connected and... Um, like emotional awareness, people of whoever you were working with, whether it be a relationship, a creative project, a spiritual um, path, or a work situation, uh, depending on, you know, what happens here. But um, <clears throat> whatever it be for you, it felt like emotionally connected, you know where you felt seen and you felt like your feelings were important and your opinion mattered and and things like that. So it was very healing. But the Knight of Wands in reverse can also represent like over over eager, like being too much passion to the point of burnout, you know? So, okay. 
presently what you're dealing with. You got three of pentacles, self-soothing, creating safety and calm. So in your current situation, whatever you're working towards is what spirit wants to say. Um, there is a sense of working together towards the greater good. And you are very, very, someone is saying obsessed with <laughs> um, creating a situation that feels safe and calm for you. And so, again, whether it's work situation, um, a, a spiritual path, something could have happened where you no longer felt safe because of this night of wands in reverse energy that is definitely a situation that could turn into a situation would where, where somebody's boundaries where this knight of wands individual um could have crossed someone's boundaries for example and so then in whatever situation you were in you no longer felt safe okay i'm seeing a situation somebody if you worked in an art gallery or like I'm almost I'm also seeing some kind of like a workshop and somebody coming in and like and it was somebody that you worked with who volunteered there or also worked there. But I'm seeing a situation where they came in one time and they were just acting really cre creepy and weird. And it was just the two of you alone in that workshop. It, it's like a group art space. And you were like. And you felt scared and you felt scared to go back even like, you know, and so for you, for that situation, it's a creative project. Um, but you could also make money off of the things that you're creating, of course. So we've got the three of pentacles here. Um, <clears throat> but trying to create some balance, trying to create your craft, find a place where you can safely create and work and feel calm. And also like the neighborhood is a factor too, you know, because you may be looking at, at another place, but the neighborhood is not the greatest. And you're concerned about your car being parked outside. So um, for other people, you know, people in a romantic relationship, it's like you get to meet someone, you get to know someone, you feel very connected and seen and like, it's great. But then you end up realizing with the Knight of Wands reverse that it might just be really more about the physical than the actual emotional connection. And so you're in a place where you are just working. You're ending up, you're focusing on work instead of your, you know, romantic situation. You're focusing on work because that helps you feel calm and safe. <laughs> and um, some, you know, some people in romantic relationships, sometimes they'll go, if there's trouble in the relationship, they'll just focus on work and they start working as a way to kind of avoid, you know, the problem. So for some of you, it could be something like that, or, um, or just to get your mind off of the other person as well. Um, a work situation would be like, I'm seeing a situation where somebody had um, a co-worker. <laughs> okay, so dolphins are really smart and playful. And I mean, they're so intelligent and um, the sonar and, and all of the abilities that they have. But they're also, with the Knight of Wands reversed, they can be kind of mean, too. Like, they can pick on other sea creatures. And, um, yeah, they can... I heard something. I can't remember if it was dolphins. I think it may have been dolphins where there's a certain fish in the ocean. And they like to poke them and antagonize them. Because then when they're scared, they release a chemical and it gets the dolphins high. <laughs> And so they'll like bully and antagonize some poor sea creature and, you know, just to get the chemical release. Um, <clears throat> so having a past work situation, this could also be a, a romantic situation as well. Again, like that chemical release. Um, 
of the physical connection. But uh, what else? I mean, there's also a chemical release that occurs, you know, the oxytocin when we feel an emotional connection for somebody as well. And so that can also become, you know, addicting. So, okay. Anyway, so a work situation, it could be you work with people who are bullies in the past. And so, but at first it seemed like a great, it seemed great. It seemed wonderful. It seemed like everything was in alignment with what you were trying to do and you felt like it was your dream career and all that stuff. And, you know, the people you worked with, they turn out to be a bit bully-like. And, you know, they like to make fun of other people. They like to poke fun at people. They like to put people on the spot. Or they're very clicky. I'm also getting that for some of you. And so you're currently working towards... A situation or at a situation <clears throat> where you feel you finally feel calm and safe and you're creating that for yourself as well and some of you could be working from home as well and like really pushing that working from from home because of working in office situations I mean it's awful to think that corporate America or just office environments could have gotten so toxic in some ways that people almost have PTSD from going back to the office. I mean, it's never occurred to me. I've heard many people complain about how people are not working at the office anymore. Everyone's working from home and all that stuff. But um, I am starting to realize that there could be a group of people where that is definitely a real thing, you know, not everybody, obviously, I think a lot of people just like the comfort, <laughs> they like the comfort and the flexibility, but, um, and, but, okay, what was I getting at? My apologies. <laughs> um, so you're trying to create a situation for yourself where you feel safe, you feel calm at work, your nerves are not activated, you're not stressed out, you want to work well together with other people, you want to work as a team, be team players, you know, if you do work with people, you want to get along with those people that you work with. So that's where your head is at right now, depending on whatever situation you're dealing with, okay? And for some, obviously, our lives are complicated, so it could be a few of those, like we could have stuff going on you know, uh, personal relationships as well as work or creative projects and work or, you know, whatever. So, okay. <clears throat> Your future, again, I said, is not concrete. It's not set in stone. You have free will and you can make decisions um, to avoid your future. Some things are destined and also some things are occur as the result of the free will choices that we have made and we have to deal with that. <laughs> so, um, so the future, you got the sun, you got wild energy, focusing your creative power. This is actually a very positive future outcome. Um, this is very positive future outcome. So basically, you do have the opportunity to create a very positive, happy, healthy life for yourself where there's a lot of growth and um, sustainability is another word that's coming through. Um, okay, so for some of you with creative projects, you will find that space. If you're work if you're looking for a, a building or something, you will find a place to be able to do your work, to be able to do your art. And um it's it's gonna be safe. You have I'm seeing, okay, for some of you, you will have to get a bit of a fixer upper, but you can do some really cool things with it. Um, like an older building. Um 
maintenance technician. Uh, you may need to look for a maintenance technician for somebody. I don't know. Anyway, okay, but you'll get a better place. Um, and it's just like the sun is, you know, sun triggers growth. I was just thinking about this today. It causes photosynthesis, which causes, you know, plants to grow and they grow towards the sunlight. And, and it's just like such a beautiful thing, you know? And so it's really going to help somebody expand and grow very much. Um, you are going to be able to focus your creative power and you will have actually so much creative energy that it's going to be a bit wild at times. Like, you know, you might almost feel manic because you have so much insights and passions and ideas that you are like kind of scattered because you're like, oh my gosh, I could do this and this and like all this stuff is coming to you at the same time. With the snake being here, the snake to me in this particular deck represents there's an opportunity for healing and knowledge and information and for growth, like because snakes shed their skin. So there is an opportunity for growth, but it also to me in this deck has a different meaning that there is also an opportunity for snakes, <laughs> for there to be snakes. Okay. So, um, I don't particularly care for snakes. I live in a place where there are rattlesnakes and, you know, so, um, so there could be snakes in the grass. So you have to be careful. You have to be aware. Again, somebody, a maintenance technician, possibly, or just being very careful, getting an inspection, even if you're renting, you know, because you don't know how, re how reliable the landlord's going to be. And just being clear about like if any outlets don't work or whatever. Okay, for those of you, if it's a work situation, again, same situation. Um, you have the ability to create the path that you deserve, is what Spirit is saying. You have the ability, like, people don't have to tolerate or put up with... Um, Well, they are saying harsh consequences is coming up. So, sorry, hang on one second. Because I was totally on one path and all of a sudden someone came in. It was like harsh consequences. So, um, okay, yeah, okay. <clears throat> the harsh consequences being the snake. You know, so again, you have the opportunity to heal, to grow, to expand. If it's your career, it will be growing your career, expanding your um, database. For some of you, that's relevant. Um, for others of you, uh, the consequences... The snake in the grass, not being careful of who you're working for. Some situations are too good to be true, is what I'm getting. There are certain places that are predatory. Um, and also your work ethic, too. If you are working in a situation where you do, like, just because of the whole office dynamic, you have anxiety or whatever, um... And so you want a, a job where you're working at home. Be careful with your information. Uh, filling out online job forms. Like online, there's a, you know, a few reputable places to look for jobs. Um, and so be careful because a lot of it is data collection. Okay, so that's why I guess expanding the database came in. <laughs> but also maybe somebody else for some reason, like your, your contacts or something. Um, expanding your contacts list, um, <clears throat> which does increase your database. You know, it's just like the number of, um, if you have a website and you sell products and you have subscribers. Um, anyway, okay. 
So for others of you being careful, just predatory lending places. Like some of you, you may get an opportunity to work for some sort of a shady industry. And it's just really not good to be working for those types of places. Um, it's, you know, yeah, predatory lending, like the paycheck loan places or things like that. You just got to be careful, you know. Um, reputable dealerships. For some of you, if you're thinking about getting a job working as a car dealer, um, get one at a reputable dealership, that type of thing. It's that type of energy. Like don't get a job working on at like a used car shop in the ghetto kind of thing, you know? Um, okay. And with the bottom of the deck, the nine of swords, moon belly, healing your gut. Like for some of you, this situation could have been stressing you out so severely that you literally had stomach cramps, tightness in your belly, um, back, lower back pain, um, just haven't been digesting your food properly, um, that you could be like, like your stomach in knots kind of situation, not able to eat. Um, for others of you, um, oh, and I do need to get to the relationship portion. Sorry, I didn't get to that yet. So I will, I just recognize that. Sorry. <laughs> but for others of you, um, yeah, whatever the situation may be, whatever, you know, work, creative projects or, or romantic relationships are three scenarios that I'm seeing within this group and um yeah like your stomach was in knots and others of you you know healing your gut biome working on your um probiotics and taking vitamins um things to support your belly if anyone is pregnant currently and it's a romantic situation and you end up getting pregnant. Um, you might need a stomach support, like some sort of a, a pregnancy girdle. <laughs> so, because it's a big, big baby. So I am getting that for somebody. Okay. So relationship. With the sun card and wild energy, focusing your creative power. So you have, again, also have the ability to create the romantic relationship that you desire um, by growing and learning, shedding skin, shedding like Growing, it's okay to grow out of a situation. It's okay to grow out of a situation. It's okay to shed your skin and expand and, and, you know, become bigger and more powerful is what I'm getting with the snake shedding its skin. And so I am getting, for some of you, it's like growing out of a situation. And so what you can do is focus on the positive. Focus, instead of focusing on what you don't want, what you, you know, all the things that made you mad, all the things that yeah, make you angry, focus on the positive, focus on the things you do want. What is your ideal for a romantic relationship or just like close interpersonal relationship, whatever it is you're looking for. Some people don't really want like some, some people even just want like a good friendship, you know, but if, if someone, you know, wanting a, if someone is wanting a romantic relationship, then this also applies. Um, <clears throat> 
but you can focus on focus your creative power in that way in the positive focusing on what makes you happy doing those things that make that make you happy because in some situations you can all you can meet people doing those things and get along with them because that's what makes you happy and that's also what makes them happy and so you know there's opportunities like that I do see for some of you there is a there is a chance or a possibility that you're that this person I don't want to I don't want to give anyone false promises okay but well having the attitude like you're you're either growing with me or you know or you're moving forward towards towards what makes you happy or towards the sun towards the positive energy um then you know people can and will shed their skin too if they really want to but don't wait for anybody so that's what i'm getting there okay i hope that makes sense and thank you so much for choosing me um, to do this reading for you um, please feel free to pick one of the other piles if this did not resonate hello pile two if you selected the sodalite Yours says, I am guided by logic and intuition. Intuition focuses energy and guidance. The chakras are the throat and the third eye. And the zodiac sign is Sagittarius. Again, you don't have to be a Sagittarius. It could just be Sagittarius season or something occurred in Sagittarius season. Um, we'll see. We'll see what the reading says. Okay, I have already shuffled the deck to your energy. Let's go ahead and pick the cards. Okay. Holy Spirit, please. Past situation for group two. Past situation for group two. Past, okay. Past, six of wands. Victory, success, public recognition, popularity. Somebody was very popular in the past at maybe they still are of course but as in a certain situation somebody was very popular presently okay king of wands leo energy future for this group please most likely probable outcome given the circumstances group two Seven of Wands. Okay. The Empress card. <clears throat> this is like having to defend your territory in a way. We'll get into the messages, but that's that's what I'm one of the messages I'm getting. Okay. Please clarify the past situation for group two past situation for group two for their highest and greatest good please group two past this one almost wanted to come out belonging healing and community purple diamond manifesting your dreams nurture giving yourself love care and encouragement okay past Okay. <clears throat> Simplify. Clearing away what you don't need. Some of you felt confident enough to get rid of some people in your life. For others of you, I am seeing that... Some of someone you may have known for a really long time and you may feel bad or guilty about cutting them out of your life 
because you made some new friends, new connections, and you started going in a different direction than they were going in. But, um, well, we'll see what's going on. But, you know, again, sometimes people don't, they're not doing the same things that you're doing. They're not wanting to do the same things you want to do. Some people just want to stay home. You know, some people just want to do like they want to chill. They, they don't want to like go out or they don't really want to be like seen or, you know, things like that. Like, um, okay, let's, let's keep going because <laughs> I could just keep going with that. So, okay. Presently, please clarify. Present for group two. Present for group two. Group two. Ooh. Oh, goodness, that's a lot. We'll take them. Breathe, healing with your breath, self-trust, building safety with yourself, mushroom touch, decom decomposting shame. Okay, that card's really deep. I was looking at this deck earlier. I just got this deck in. And um, <clears throat> to decompost would for would be for something to grow from the compost so it's like you have your plant material that's decomposing to the point where it's like so decomposed that things start to grow out of it like grass or mushrooms or things like that so it's like it gets to a point where it's no longer festering decomposing stinky mess you know, it's growing something fresh and new. <clears throat> okay. All right. Future situation. Okay. That one came out fast. Composting. Decomposting again. Ener energetic cords this time. And then pink honeymoon, soothing hurt, and inflammation. Okay, bottom of the deck, moon money, allowing the flow of abundance, and the empress card. Okay, so for some of you, okay, for some of you, this could be that you're a parent, you're the mother, you're the matriarch of a situation, or you're dealing with a matriarch, motherly type energy, um, very strong, very dominant. If it's not you, then it would be somebody who's very strong and dominant in your family. And there's another group of you where it is, you are the boss. You're the boss lady. Um, you may not be female, but you're embodying empress energy which can also be very nurturing so you know uh kind nurturing so uh okay moon money allowing the flow of abundance so there may be a need for you or somebody else whatever the situation may be um in your life for you or someone else to really evaluate your beliefs about money. What do you believe about money? Where do you believe money comes from? How do you believe you're supposed to get money? And, um, you know, because some people with it being, you know, the boss lady, the boss lady, this empress... Like you could traditionally feel like dominant masculine energies are the ones, only ones who get ahead because, you know, whatever. They're just so bossy and dominant and aggressive that they get ahead. But, you know, there's also a possibility for people to get ahead just because they're, they're well-liked, they're compassionate, they're responsible, they're intelligent, they're smart with money to the point where they know how to grow the finances and the funds and to expand 
and to help the company, you know, if you work for a company, help it improve and get stronger. So, so it's like for somebody here, if it's a work situation, you got a promotion or some sort of popularity, you know, is coming up again. You were the popular choice for some position and you got it. And now there's another opportunity. You may have to defend your position in some way in the future. And so that you can rise ahead, you know, you can rise and advance to be the boss someday in this situation is what I'm seeing for somebody. So maintaining confidence, that's what they want you to do. You can be strong and still be nurturing and caring um, good bosses understand that their subordinates are people too, and they get stressed out, they get tired, they get overwhelmed, they have financial struggles and things that come up in life that give them stress that they could be thinking about at work, you know, relationship problems, whatever the case may be. Um, and being aware of that can actually make somebody a very good, powerful boss. So that's someone's message, okay? So, and then for other other of you, if you're if you're um, your female dominant family member, um, <clears throat> I'm seeing a situation where she could be like controlling the money or something. You stand to inherit something or you you may be under the impression that you're you're going to inherit something. Um, and it might not be anytime soon. Like this person may not be old or anywhere near getting older. You know, they could still be like pretty young, um, mature adult. But. It's, a, it's an energy of like trying to stay in their good graces. And you thinking about that, like, instead of thinking about what you could be doing or earning for yourself, you're thinking about that that's like when you're going to be financially stable, basically. You know, you're kind of like, it's like you didn't think you could earn that money on your own or, or you didn't want to. Something along those lines. Um, at least not the way that they did. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's like, and you're limiting yourself when you think that way. Because you could, you could go out and earn your own money and enjoy your life so much more because these people are not old or sick. Um, the matriarch seems very healthy. <laughs> um, but it's also, I'm also feeling an energy of possibly like her kind of like manipulating or pulling strings like there might be certain conditions or things that they want you to do to make them happy. And you're concerned that if you don't, you're going to get cut off or things like that. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's, it's good. It's a good time for you to stand in your own power. Anyone who's dealing with that situation and you become the empress. You can become your own empress. And you can really allow the flow of abundance into your own life. Um, so, okay. We'll get, we'll get to this part. I just wanted to cover this really quick. So, let's see here. All right. I am, I am being guided this way. Okay. So, past situation, six of wands. Again, you reached a pinnacle or a peak, a high point. You were very um, 
some people may have been aggressive in a certain situation. Um, but it gave you the confidence to clear away what you no longer needed. Um, for some of you, that was friendships. For some of you, that was personal belongings and personal possessions. Um, for others of you, with the work situation, files, organizing, cleaning, clearing, um, just like really cleaning up your data keeping. Um, and so that helped. That helped actually. Okay. Move, babe. Gosh. Okay. Go on. No. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Get down. <laughs> okay. So again, I got the message that for somebody became popular, somebody became influential and they may have let go of a friend and they may be feeling guilty about it. I feel kind of bad too, in a way. Um, and there may still need to be some forgiveness in this situation. Um, I don't know. I just feel, I feel kind of sad about it. So, all right, presently, Breathe. Healing with your breath. <sighs> Sometimes we get so stressed out, we forget to breathe. We get so tense. We get so concerned about, and this is interesting because it's a past, present, future reading. We get co so concerned about the future that we clench up and we tense up because we're trying to control ourselves and the outcome of a situation. And, you know, also thinking about the past, we can become drained and breathless, you know, and when we think about past situations that just make us sad or pull us down. And so being in the present moment and just breathing, it really, it helps. It really does help calm yourself um, with any stresses that you're dealing with. It helps you focus it helps you focus on the task at hand. It helps you focus on the present moment. It helps you focus on whatever it is exactly that needs to be done. And so that is something that is encouraged at this time. You may be doing that consciously. You may be trying to make more of a conscious effort to do that throughout the day and just, or doing exercises like breathing exercises during the day, taking time at your desk to do that. Or, um, or in moments in, in the past where you think about the pressure of different situations and you start to get worked up, you can just breathe and calm. Okay, another situation that you're working with is self-trust. Building safety with yourself because something happened where okay so for some of you if you're if the matriarch in your family was so domineering that you lost trust or faith in yourself because that person constantly told you what to do what to think what to wear what to eat i mean any number of things like this person um i am getting a situation like that for some of you where some of you the matriarch was very controlling and dominant in some ways. And um, because they wanted their family to be a certain way. You know, they just wanted their family to have like a certain character or standard for living. Like, like moral character, really. A lot of it does have to do with moral character. But... um yeah, like, you know, to meet a certain standard of existence, I guess. Um, 
Let's see. And for others of you, okay, the group of you who just got promoted into this position and you were the popular choice, so that means that you may still have to work with the person that you passed up for promotion, right? <clears throat> and so it's a matter of you now, you know, you got your position. Now you have to learn how to trust yourself and build safety within yourself. You may have a lot of self-doubt that you're struggling with. And so you're working and learning how, how to build safety with yourself and to trust yourself and, and your abilities and um, doing things, whatever it is that you need to do in order to get there to, to get gain the confidence to be able to do that, to be confident in your decisions in your new position. Okay, let's see. Okay. And the last one, decomposting shame. So for some people, you could have had with the moon money, and the, and the allowing the flow of abundance, some of you could be dealing with, um, you know, like my family, we do have like issues around lack, lack mentality, ha being very poor, having to like save things and collect things because you don't know when you're going to need them in the future and not throwing things away, <laughs> stuff like that. So, um, you could have, you could be dealing with that um, any sort of issue about not just collecting things, but any sort of an issue or pre-programming about money and how money is acquired from, and I'm talking about, I'm seeing groups of people here who are like from being very poor and having to allow yourself to be wealthy and actually be like, it's okay to be rich. Yay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not bad or evil because I'm not doing bad or evil things to earn it. So it's perfectly safe and healthy and good. And I deserve it because I worked hard to get here. Um, to people like where it's inherited, you know, and it's just acquired that way where it comes down the line type of thing. And you just wait for it to arrive. Um, so that's what I'm getting. So I'm seeing different situations, whatever the healing that needs to occur in order to allow a flow of abundance to enter your life. So you can feel safe and secure within your present situation and within yourself. And there could be some things that you're shameful about like you could have shame around because of how you were raised you could you could have shame around spending money certain ways like um just with like simple things like electricity you know I was always taught you always turn the lights off when you leave the room you never you never leave the lights on um you could have shame with like spending money in certain ways frivolously that you think are frivolous they make things that make you happy or things that you know you just get tired you forget you get busy you forget you f accidentally leave something on leave the heater on all day while you're at work and you know and you come home and the house is like 84 degrees and uh and you're like shit <laughs> I wonder how much that cost <laughs> um you know things like that like that you almost beat yourself up about. There is some healing that you're doing right now. If you're not currently doing it presently, it's something you should definitely look into and consider. It's what's being recommended. And again, for others of you, if, if you were of the category where you waited for it to come in, and you're and you're almost putting your life on hold and your dreams on hold and it is very sad for some of you like you your your mother figure is so domineering that you feel like you can't 
have the job that you want to have because they want you to have a different kind of job. And so you're just biding your time until they're gone and then you can do what you want to do with your life. But by then, it might be too late. You should just do it now, basically. You should just do what you want right now. Because you're limiting yourself, you're limiting your life experience, you're limiting your happiness. You could be doing some really creative things also for some of you, I'm getting, in a good way. Okay, like helping people. I did getting, I'm, and I'm being reminded, I did a reading uh, during Merc for Mercury Retro, excuse me, Mercury Retrograde, <laughs> as I'm getting tongue-tied, tongue um, but I did a reading previously, and inventions came up, and I was just reminded of inventions, like even to that point where like you could invent something very, very significant and beneficial for a lot of people. And it could make you a lot of money doing it. So just take that into consideration. Okay. But yes, there is some sort of shame around money I'm getting that you have, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Okay. Self-trust, breathe. Okay. And the King of Wands. So I feel like this is very... The King of Wands is connected to the sun, to the astrological sign of Leo. You could be a Leo or you could have Leo very prominently in your chart. Um, but Leo is very, very um, proud energy. You could be very proud of yourself, proud of your accomplishments and you and where you're like really glowing in a way. And um It's like, you know, majestic, regal, <laughs> feeling very, for some of you, feeling very accomplished. Okay. So, future energy... I'm getting seven of wands, pink honeymoon, soothing hurt and inflammation, and composting, decomposing energetic cords. So what I'm getting, again, um, for those of you who might be in a situation where you've currently risen in fame or popularity or have gotten a promotion at work, you may have to defend yourself and your fame, your popularity, or your decisions at work in some way. You may have to defend your position in some way. Um, you're learning. You're learning. It's all about, I mean, it comes with the territory, basically, is what they're getting is what I'm getting. They're saying it comes with the territory. You're learning, you know, this life, this, this is what life experiences are about. We're thrown different situations and, you know, our souls came here to see how we would handle these situations given all of these mitigating factors, like all the astrological influences affecting everybody's emotions and around us in different ways. And, and we have to navigate these energies the best way that we can, given our own emotions and what we're dealing with. And so that's the life experience. And, and it goes back to that money thing. It's okay to be successful. It's okay to be powerful if you have acquired that power doing good for others, helping other people in some shape or fashion because then it is justified. Um, so again, 
cord cutting. There is, for some of you, going to be more cord cutting, more getting rid of certain situations or people or obligations. For some of you, it's obligations, like attending certain meetings. You're like, why do I have to go to this meeting? Why can't? Why can't I get someone else to go to this meeting for me? That type of situation, you know, like um, for others of you or just like showing up to certain events or something like that. Like, you know, having staff, like if you've if you've gotten to a certain level, you can have staff to do things for you. Um, you can delegate to people. Um <clears throat> Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for those of you who have become successful. For others of you, if it's somebody, um, I'm seeing, you know, the mother, the dominant maternal energy. I am seeing where you have been able to heal within yourself and you have done something. And like I said, you, curr you could currently be dealing with all this right now, working all through through all this stuff right now so that you feel confident within yourself and that you have enough self-trust to be able to make your own decisions and move forward with your life the way that you want to not following what this person says just because they say so and that's what they want for you but because you know it's something you want for yourself too or or you want something different for yourself you know whatever the case may be you may have to defend yourself to this person. One, two, three, four. Okay. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm getting there. And I totally, I did see an energy in the beginning, but these under the these other energies took over. They were more dominant. But I did see a situation which I would like to read on. Um, where if you are a mother, and healing money, handling your finances the best way you know how, There are things that can be done to make you more money, um, though. You can do things better. I'm seeing with, like, the type of bank accounts that you have, like interest rates and things. Um, if you're paying interest rates on a car or a house, you can check with your bank to see if they have a better interest rate and refinance. Um... So, you know, it's not as dominant of an energy, but if, if you are a mother in this situation, you're also dealing with like, you're, you're trying to raise your child and be a parent to your child and also parent yourself, like be the parent that you want, that you would have wanted for your kid you know, and, uh, and your child just loves you for that, but you still have doubts within yourself. Um, you've done some things recently that you were very proud of. You've made some, a lot of healing. You've done a lot of healing, healing some past traumas and situations where you got, you feel like you got to break some cycles or break some patterns. You did things differently than the way your parents would have done it. And you feel very excited and happy about that. And again, in the future, you may have to defend your, your decisions your actions. So do just do be careful. Basically, do be careful with your actions. Try to stay calm, try to breathe. Stay calm. If you get stressed out, 
if you're in the parent, parent in this situation, and if you get stressed out dealing with your kids, just try to stay calm, try to breathe, have trust in yourself and that you know what's best. Because again, you could also be, you could be dealing with someone who's giving you lots of advice, but it's just kind of not really working for you and it's not really relevant anymore. And and they found like scientifically that it's actually not healthy to do that, <laughs> that type of thing, you know? Um, so, and it could be an overcoming some shame if there was something that you had done in the past, a way that you handled a situation with your child and you learned a better way, a better tool or a better tactic to handle that situation and you feel so bad and guilty for what you did before, but you didn't know and that's what you learned. That's what you had learned previously. But now, you know, it's okay to trust yourself because you know better. But stay calm because of this Seven of Wands. Um, because there is still some energetic work to be done in that situation in dealing with just the patterns of abuse of um, that you could be dealing with still. And you have to you know, cut those cords and heal. Like you could have also gotten rid of certain people that were toxic, that were bad influences for you and your parenting. And, and there's still some more energetic cords and things that you need to cut some ties. You need to cut some phone numbers. You need to delete things like that. Um, I'm getting like the energy of a younger parent with a, a small child. So, and pink honey moon, soothing hurt and inflammation. Um, this is healing for the body, not just the heart and the soul. This is definitely connected to healing the body. So, some of you, if you're not careful could be in a violent situation where you could get hurt. I am seeing a situation like that. Um, so do be careful. Like domestic violence, if you're in a domestic violence relationship, um, now would probably be a good time to go. But in the future, even healing from past situations that you may have witnessed or experienced firsthand, secondhand, thirdhand, you know, um, it can all affect us. All those things can affect us negatively. And there may be, um, I am seeing there being a need to heal from that just for the future, just to continue to ensure that that type of behavior doesn't affect your chill yourself or your children's lives growing i'm getting that very strongly growing healthy growing healthy you know growing healthy kids and then composting um by giving back to the earth the earth will give to us i'm getting that um But yeah, for some of you, it is also some clearing, recycling. Um, there could be a need like I'm seeing going through old papers and old letters. Just recycle that. Just recycle it. Just stick it in the recycle bin. Um, burn it. Burn it. Put the ashes out in the dirt. You know, that type of thing. I'm seeing that for some of you. Love letters burn them. <laughs> so if it's anything like that, um, just to avoid, like if, if there's like some sort of a, a domestic situation that it could also, not that you're currently dealing with it, but it could come back. Like if you dealt with that in the past, it could return 
So now is the time to cut those energetic cords or, you know, cut them in the future, um, in the near future, so that in the further distant future, that situation doesn't happen again. I hope that makes sense. But for others of you, as I mentioned previously, again, if you've been promoted or if you're if you're growing in popularity and wealth in some way, you may need to defend your position, your decisions. And um, there is an opportunity for you to learn from this situation. And you can prepare yourself. One of the ways that you can prepare yourself is by researching more about like stocks and bonds. And I am seeing that in some way, like it could be if you, especially if you have to make any kind of financial decisions in your new job, research before you make your decisions is what I'm getting. You know, don't just make a decision, look it up, look it up. And again, for others of you, if it's the maternal energy that's very strong and dominant, there is a battle ahead. However, it is going to be very healing. You're going to clear a lot of air and energy and the outcome may not be as bad as you think it is. You know, like you're preparing for a big battle and and by you simply just saying, this is what I'm going to do. I am seeing for some of them, they're like, okay, fine, do what you want. <laughs> and it's almost not what you were expecting. But it's because of whatever's going on right now within yourself, things that you're doing and things that you're working on within yourself. Um, it does create an energy shift. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if this pile did not resonate, feel free to pick one of the other piles. And thanks so much again. Okay, pile three. If you pick this pile, this is your reading. You picked bronzite. Let's see, it's getting dark in here now. I send out loving, thoughtful energy, and I receive the same in return. Protective, grounding, harmony, courage, chakras, all of them, and then zodiac sign Leo. Um, if you identify strongly with Leo, if you have, uh, if Leo is a prominent placement in your birth chart, you may want to check pile two because um, there was a lot of Leo energy in that reading. Um, but this is your energy. Okay. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, please uh, assist me with selecting the tarot cards to represent Pile Three's energy from a past situation that is currently affecting them. The Sun, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So that's Leo energy. You being in your energy or someone else who's another Leo that you may know or if, or if, you know, you may not be the Leo, but the Leo in this situation was 10 of pentacles, four of pentacles. So hanging on to this, hanging on to something in hopes for a long-term payoff. Okay. Present situation. Present situation for pile two. Present situation for pile two. Presently, what's going on? Pile two. Okay. The full card. Fresh starts. New beginnings. Leap of faith as well for some of you. Taking a leap of faith. Like in some in some situations when you're on your journey, instead of starting the journey totally fresh and new it's like you've started a journey you're going on your journey you hit a rough patch instead of starting a totally new journey sometimes 
you have to take a leap of faith in order to continue on the journey that you have already started. So for some of you, that is going to be relevant. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, <clears throat> future situation. Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Temperance card. That's Sagittarius energy. It's also divine uh, balance, emotional stability. Okay, please assist us with clarifying. Holy Spirit, please assist us with clarifying the past situation for pile three. Violet flame. Burning away what's no longer needed. Okay, I'm seeing for some of you, you may have shined too bright for somebody to handle. And like your light was so bright that there were people that just couldn't stand it and they just fell away. They just left a situation with you or... They just, they couldn't keep up even. So, okay. Present for pile three. Present situation for pile three. Focus. Being deliberate with your attention. Okay. Future for pile three. The future outcome. Most likely probable outcome in this given situation for pile three for their highest and greatest good please nourish feeding the sweet animal of your body soft breeze allowing flow and ease okay so for you all it looks like you are really needing some ease and balance and grace and peace and calm to enter your life. Now is the time to get more in touch with your feminine side for some of you. Um, getting more in touch with your emotions, not being afraid to express yourself do it by yourself you don't have to like do it around anybody you know like if you have to cry if you if you're like I haven't thought about that or I haven't dealt with that I haven't like really sat down and processed my feelings around this situation because I just don't want to feel that way I don't want to cry I know it's going to make me emotional and I don't want to get emotional just do it you're going to feel so much better afterwards just go into your bathroom, lock the door, and just ugly cry into a towel or something. You know, nobody, <laughs> nobody's going to see you. So you'll be fine. You'll feel relieved afterwards. Um, but yes, you really do need to bring more peace into your life to be able to Live your life with more grace and stability instead of, you know, tumultuous imbalance and overindulgence even for either yourself or somebody around you. Somebody around you may have been overindulging in something like spending money, overeating, over drinking, over smoking, and it was just, it was causing you to overindulge too and that's not healthy. It wasn't healthy for you anyway at that level is what I'm getting. Um, so yeah, so now is a time to bring peace into your life. So, all right, past situation. As I mentioned earlier, for some of you, for some of you, you were either, you were in a situation long-term it could have been a job. You were hanging on to this job for dear life because of your retirement, for example, 
some sort of payoff that you're going to be getting in however many years, you know, that type of thing. And it's like you're you're not necessarily happy with what you're doing, but you're still hanging on to it for fear of losing the financial stability and for fear of losing the payout and the payoff. And um Okay, so for some of you, you were doing that, but then something happened and your light just started shining. You found your passion. You found something to spark your interest. Possibly, if it's a career path that you were really, really hanging on to, you found something else that sparked your interest and your passion and you just started to glow so much that everything that wasn't in alignment with whatever that thing was that made you so happy just literally started to fall apart. And so so for some of you I'm seeing that's that's what happened. For others of you, there could have been somebody else who was hanging on to you and a relationship because of some sort of payoff or be, or just for long term, just for long term growth, like building something together, building a business together or something like that long term together. But you blew up. You started to outshine them in some kind of way. And again, it caused them to just fall into the background basically and um so you're you know that was the situation in your past so i am seeing for some of you 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 blew up you're moving on to something else or like there's another career path or something that's calling you and everything else is just like it's like it's just falling away whatever's not in alignment with that path and it's you could be really scared and freaked out actually because of, of how things are happening and how, and how, how things like just at the rapid progression of, of that alignment and how it actually manifested. You could have even done some sort of like prayer candle ritual or something. And it just, and I'm, I'm hearing falling apart at the seams and so, and just to reiterate, the other group that I saw was uh, a situation where if you were building something with somebody else um, and really hanging on to that situation, really trying hard um, to build a foundation for this long-term development on something together, it's like you could be the brains behind it or you could be, you know, just your, your passion for it has caused them to kind of fall by the wayside or just fall into the background. And it's like, you're the face and they're just kind of like back there, you know? Um, so they could be feeling some sort of way about that or um, you could, fe you could be feeling some sort of way about that. Like you could be feeling very guilty even you know, concerned, worried, um, stressed, imbalanced. Okay. All right. Presently, what you all are dealing with, you got the fool card. And you got focus being deliberate with your attention. So for a good number of you this the fool card can be tricky because it can represent new ventures um fresh starts new beginnings but it can also represent continuing on the path and on the journey that you have already started right so so to translate that Let's say if you had a job 
long term, been at that job for a long time, you're planning on retiring from that job, you're going to work there for the next 30 years, and then you're going to retire. But then all of a sudden, you know, you heard about this new industry, and it's something you're really interested in, in, and you know, you've been actually been studying about it for a while, just for fun. And it's just like totally sparked your interest. And all of a sudden, everything's from that, that job, your day job is just like falling apart at work. And it's like things are pushing you more and more into this new thing that's really, you're really passionate about. And so it's like, in that situation, it seems like when things just fall away like that, you're being guided to take a leap of faith, to take a fresh start. But the fear is whether or not it's going to work out or it's going to prosper, whether or not you're going to succeed. However, if you are deliberate with how you focus your attention, you will be able to successfully make a fresh start with confidence, with confidence, um, is very important to where you know that you're making the right decision. So building up enough savings, for example, continuing to work that particular job for X number of months or years until you have enough money into the bank account to where you can say, I, you know, and you're, and you've worked this thing up enough you know, like if it's a side gig, you've worked that up, up enough and you've got some money saved so you can confidently take that leap of faith and make a fresh start for some of you. Okay. For others of you, it feels like it's continuing to work for the, for the ones who feel like um, they're headlining. <laughs> And their partners or their team members or the other players are falling in the background kind of thing. It's an energy of continuing on the path that you have already started. Um, and of course, you'll know what your what situation is right for you. If you're choosing to continue on the path for the long-term growth to continue, like if you've been working on a business with somebody and you, and you want to continue to, to work towards that success for the future and the stability for the future in that, even though one person may be more the face of the brand than, than another person who is actually incredibly influential and, um, you know, even like financially influential in the situation. Um, you want to continue to move on with that. And instead of like just branching out, take your newfound fame and branching out on your own, you want it to continue to go forward. You can maintain your focus, being deliberate with your attention, you know, making sure people feel included is one way people can be deliberate with their attention and focus to focus on the people who deserve, you know, credit whenever credit is due, um, focusing on the goals long term. Some people may not want to be in the spotlight. They may be perfectly fine. Like you could be feeling bad because you're advancing and progressing and you're shining and they're just kind of there in the background, but they could be perfectly happy there. Like they could just be happy to offer the emotional and, you know, investment, financial investment, um, to help you realize your dreams and the goals of, of the business overall. And they could be totally fine with just like being in the background and doing like the background stuff. The very, the still number of very many important things that need to be done in order to keep things running smoothly, right? If this is a band, of course, the, the players in the band would be, um, you know, influential and in, and in making the sound come together harmoniously and all that so but the thing that will be the determining factor is whatever is falling away 
whatever is being pulled away, taken away, is going away, is, you know, being removed, allow, allow it to be removed. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Because when you do that, it brings a lot more peace and flow into your life when you can go with the flow and you don't have to hang on so tightly with the four, the four of pentacles here. You don't have to hang on so tightly to something that you, you know, that you desperately need. Like if, if you desperately need the money, you, you still don't have to hang on so tightly because if you found some sort of creative project or passion um, and that other situation with your day job starts to fall away and fall apart, it's like, you know, you can fall back on this. It's actually something that you're being encouraged to do, you know, just, just saying. So the divine has a very funny way of removing the things from your life that are no longer in, in alignment with the direction that you are starting to go for your highest and greatest good. Like sometimes we can be walking a path down, just experiencing life. But when we're finally in alignment with something that's in, a, you know, part of our destiny or our soul's purpose, it's like things that are out of alignment with that, once you're finally going that direction, will just fall away. I'm hearing decrease also. You may see if you're some sort of influencer, you may see it decrease in numbers even. Like in your channel or something like that. And um, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's when you know it's time to change direction. Okay. Future. Nourish, feeding the sweet animal of your body and the six of pentacles in reverse. So this is a, it is a warning. Um, I'm interpreting this as a warning of imbalance. If you don't take the steps necessary today in this present moment to maintain balance, to achieve balance with this temperance card here and the soft breeze, allowing flow and ease into your life. If you don't take the steps necessary to get balanced, balance your checkbook even, balance your finances, balance your workload, make sure that you're not overburdening other people with too much work or too much responsibility in some way. Excuse me. Make sure you're not neglecting your body as well. Um, if you're not healthy with your body, you could, it can be very expensive, you know, down the road. If you're not, if you're not being healthy, if you're not keeping your body healthy and, and eating good, healthy foods, it can be very expensive and costly down the road, just with, um, all the medications, the doctor's visits, and then um, in some cases, not being able to work as much because of just illness and lack of energy. And so it can be very costly. So it's good to be healthy. There is definitely a highlight on that right now for you. So <sighs> balancing your energies is very important. You would just want to make sure to avoid an imbalance in the future, you want to make sure that there is an equal give and take in the situations that you are going to be going into in the future. So for those of you um, with creative projects or businesses or bands or um, other career paths, other, other choices making different decisions 
And when you're guided because of things that are just obviously changing and guiding you, you in that direction, just make sure that as you continue to go down whatever, whatever path you choose, whether or not you choose to choose a fresh start or continue down the path um, that you have planned and just make sure that everybody gets the attention that they need to avoid imbalance. And also if it's you working, you're going out on your own and leaving a company, make sure you get the help that you need. Make sure that you're not overdoing it with your body, that you're not working too hard and skipping meals and, and things like that. You know, make sure that you nourish yourself and just stay calm, stay balanced, go with the flow. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, avoid the stress. Bask in the bliss is what I'm getting. So hopefully that makes sense. Thank you so much for choosing me to do this reading for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day.